Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the channel. Today I am super excited to be playing Nairn Scotland by Jay Johnson. This is an RCR course which is situated right on my doorstep and I have actually hacked my way around this course a few times so really can't wait to try this out. Let's get right into it. Fairways are soft, greens are normal, green speeds medium fast, everything else is default. We are playing off the blue tees which are playing 6,791 yards. So let's see how accurate this course is by Jay Johnson. So hole number one, par four, playing 395 yards, stroke index 13. And so far I can tell you it's very, very similar to the real thing. That body of water you are seeing there is the Murray Firth. This course does protrude right along the beach of Nairn. That building there on the right used to be the old pro club shop. Spent many, a few pounds in there. This is the, the driving range. It looks better than what the actual driving range is in real life. It doesn't have the, the roofed area. The house is over on the left hand side. And up behind here should be the Newton 9, I think, it, or it's maybe called the Cameron course now, but it should be a 9-holer course. That's the course I'm more accustomed to. And behind us, we're going to have the driving range and the putting surface, the putting area. So let's get right into this one. Hole number one is called C. And now, as I said, it's a par 4 playing 395 yards. It's actually stroke index 10 on the... The real course, playing stroke index 13 here. But bunker layout is superb. Tight fairways here, guys, by the way. An unintentional fast there. And with that, we're probably going to kick into this bunker. But this is a traditional Scottish golf links course, which was created from a highland wilderness of gorse and heather. And test the talents of professional and amateur alike. It was founded in 1887 and it has hosted the Walker Cup in 1999 and the 2012 Curtis Cup. Great strike. Greens are normal. This should run out well for us. Greens should turn towards the right. It does exactly that and that is a fantastic shot. Really happy with that one and hopefully we can start off with a birdie. Tom Morris uh, did have a say. I think he the second phase of the design and he was involved in. But great start to the round as we do move on to hole number two, which is called Akare. And this is a par five from the championship tees. And it is playing 486 yards. Once again, the yardage is bang on, by the way. Very cool layout. And this is not LiDAR, by the way, guys. This has been designed on the PS4. So we've got a 10 mile per hour wind. We should come up short here. If the the little ditch. Good strike. Wind's not holding me up as well as I would have liked. May just trickle into this downhill slope here. We have. Is this going to hold the fairway? I don't think it will. No, we're into the first cut, the light rough. And that's going to leave us a bit of work to do here on our approach shot into this 11 mile per hour wind. Look at the, the slope that's defending that pin. So try to sting this 5 iron up onto the, the green, which is going to break heavily right. Good strike. Oh, the wind's really took that to the right. Should have the legs to get up there. Is it going to hold? It does hold. And that should give us an eagle opportunity from about 20 feet out. 20 feet bang on. Green speeds are 152. One foot uphill. Breaking multiple ways. Just going for the left edge of the cup here. That needs to turn. It should. It does. And we do pick up an eagle on the opening par 5. Delighted with that one. And we are three under. Moving on to hole number three, which is playing 413 yards. Par four. This hole is called Nest. But like I say, tight fairways here. And on the short par fours, it's tough, tough angles you've got to pull off 
to one hold the fairway or two avoid hazards so 12 mile per hour wind is going to hold us up and take us round to the left but wow what a buzz it is playing this this is the, actually the first course I have played on any golf game that I've actually played in real life obviously there's courses in Scotland like St Andrews and Carnoustie that I've been to, visited but never had the joy of playing it. I think my best round round here was a 98. A 98. Which is um, many strokes over par. It's a par 72. So let's see if we can apply enough fade. What land is right of the pin. Tough shot here with all the things we've got to take into consideration. Should just about have enough yardage here. What a strike that is. What a strike that is. Oh, it's coming up a little bit short. Had the right line of sight. Or should I say the right line to come in and attack this pin. Greens are going to be fairly challenging. I've played a few of Jay Johnson's courses pr previously, guys. And they are notoriously tough. This guy doesn't uh, hold back on the difficulty of his courses. But boom, great putt. And we do move to four under through four holes. But hole number four, this is the first of the par threes. This hole is called Bunker. Water is in play here, but this should be a bowl-shaped green. The green's not exactly how I can recall it playing it. It is more like a bowl, which can gather the ball to certain pin positions. But just going to have to loft this up. This is a tough pin location with this green. Wind's going to move us right. Certainly what will land this short of the pin. Looks like it's going to run out for us with that downhill slope. Good strike once again. Really put in a lot of work on my swing again, guys. Although still getting a lot of random outcomes. That's not going to sit. It may just about hold the green. Wow, that is such a punishing green. The, the green in real life is not is as brutal as that. But we've got a 22 feet putt, one foot uphill. It's going to be quite hard, right? I would imagine we'll take a little bit of break out with the weight we'll play this. Oh, that turned really a great... Oh, look at my putt line. I think my putt line was poor there. Probably accustomed to us being right off the pin there. But we do knock in our first par of the round. And we are going to move on to hole number five. Now this course is a, a very popular course from lots of celebrities all over the world. Hole number five is called Nets. And this is a par four. Short par four playing 389 yards. But once again, tough drive here. You've got the sea in play. It would take a real wild swing to get out near the sea, the muddy firth. But it should be a smallish, slightly elevated green, well protected with bunkers right and left. Not the intended line I was taking, but it's going to work out with that push right. Nice. But Michael Douglas and his wife, I forgot her name, the Welsh lady, Visited this course on occasions. Colin Montgomery, frequent visitor. So just going to loft up this Sam Wedge. Don't want to be long or too far left of this pin or the ball will disappear. Oh, I've slightly pulled that left and look how far left that is going. Oh, yardage was really, really good too. Didn't play that one as well as we could have. And that's going to leave us a tricky flop shot here. I'm going to have to flop this. There's no way I can chip that. Just looking to get the up and down. This should hopefully sit fairly quickly. Did exactly. Look at that swing line, guys. What on earth is that? But we are going to tap in our second par of the line. And we are going to remain 
at four under par. Hole number six should be a par three. Hardest hole on the course here. I think in real life this is stroke index eight. But it is playing 197 yards. This course, uh, this hole, sorry, is called Ben Withis. Nine times out of ten, this is a long iron depending on the wind. But look at that slope there. So I'm going to have to loft up this five hybrid. We've got very little room to manoeuvre with here. Hopefully try to find that slope at the back of the... Oh, what a strike. What a strike. I could just find a slope. Is it going to sit? No, it hasn't. Just a bit too much power um, coming in there. Despite fully lofting that with the, the 9 mile per hour wind in our face. Just didn't hold, didn't sit. So it's going to be another delicate little chip shot from just off the green. Don't want to put this too far past the pin. It's a very slow. Tried to attack the pin the best I could there. But it does mean we are going to pick up another par. But the course is playing very, very challenging today in these conditions. Hole number seven should be a par five. It is. It's playing 558 yards stroke index 15. But this hole is called long. But this is a two par five, guys, against the prevailing winds. It's a tough drive. Plenty of bushes and header on the left and right all the way up the hole. And it should be a nasty check, second shot if you can reach the green. It's a long, narrow green. And it is protected by bunkers. So I, I can't recall having an easy drive so far, to be honest, due to the hazards and the angles of this fairway, like I said early on. But what a fantastic swing that is. But great view of the Murray Firth. Black Isle are way over on the other side of that water. Happy with my swing today so far. So with that, we should be able to attack this in two. With the two wood. Oh, this ball's going to go hard left. But you do get a kick. Oh, we've got a fast. Let's see if we do. There should be a kick that should kick this hard right. I think we may be coming in with a bit too much yardage though. This may actually just hold the back of the green. This should turn hard. No. Nope. Just a bit too much power there. Once again, really in between clubs due to the wind and the yardage. So let's see if we can chip this close. we go one better and drop this for an eagle. Tell you what. Oh, it was a good effort. Very, very good effort. It is going to ensure we've got a tap-in birdie. And we are going to move to five under. Not the easiest of tap-ins. But we do convert that birdie putt, and we do move to five under. So let's move on to hole number eight, which is called Delny's. This is a relatively short par four, usually plays downwind, and it's actually almost drivable. But, however, there is a huge sloping uh, fairway here with bunkers. So I'm going to take this on. This should kick hard left off the fairway. The wind is in our favour. So depending on the bounce we get here, no need to put a fast on this. This fairway should kick hard left. It could kick us into the bunker, but we might get a lucky kick. I've nailed that. This could be half decent, you know. Oh, there's that kick we mentioned. Ah, uh, we would have took some amount of luck to get it in between the two bunkers there. We found... That green side bunker. Ooh, tell you what, don't want to find the top of that. That could spin off. So just making sure we're landing this near the pin and hopefully it sits down quickly. It's not sat down anywhere near as quick as I would have liked, but it's going to give us about a seven foot putt for birdie. Eight feet. Oh, early. How have I missed that? That didn't look like there was as much turn to the right there. Arguably, my putt line um, was the issue there, but there's certainly the break wasn't what it said it would. That broke a lot harder, in my opinion, the read I had. Should have been a birdie. First mistake of the round, to be honest. 
as we do move on to the final hole of the front nine. And this is called Ice House. It's a par 4 plane, 359 yards. It's another tough drive. And this is actually quite a tough approach shot, to be honest. I think that's the ball field we are seeing, but let's just have a quick look at the course achievements, because once again, I don't think any have popped up. I'm not meaning to go into designer course challenges. So there is uh, challenges there. I'm obviously just not playing well enough to achieve them. We have actually achieved one. So, let's see if we can nail... It's going to be a hard fairway to hold here. I'm actually going to try and come over the top of this bunker with a fast. Could easily club down to two wood guys, but you know I'm an aggressive player. Oh, that fairway's just kicked all oh, with it. Actually, in the heavy rough, this could be a problem now. Very punishing heavy rough. 64 yards. Now, if I hit this green with any pace, trust me, it's working its way all the way off. I'm just trying to use this um, slope at the top that you've seen. Oh, that came out horrible. That came out absolute horrible. I should have clubbed down there. So I'm going to try and execute another shot here. I was going to try and use this slope here to advantage. I'll go and use it again. Probably going to leave me a tough putt, but I just want to see if we can execute that. So just try to land the ball on top of this slope here. It may kick right. It should filter down. Ah, it's turned more to the right. But that's why I was actually trying to do with my pitch shot. Just to show you that it does help. It will pan out if you execute that shot. It's going to be a tough putt for par this actually. Nine footer up three inches. Turning hard right here. Don't want to play this too far. I'm just play it. Let it turn. Oh, we've nailed that. And that is a solid part. Delighted to get an up and down there from that position. And we do finish the front nine at five under. So, hole number ten is a par five. This hole is called Codder. This is usually um, reachable for, for good players in two guys because the prevailing wind is normally behind you. It is a dangerous drive because of the bushes down the right hand side. I've lost a few golf balls in there actually. But as you can see, plenty of hazards, trouble down both sides here, but we've got an 11 mile per hour wind. So certainly looking to use that to our advantage. Let's put a f um, pure swing on this. See if we can carry this bunker with a touch of draw just to straighten it out. Come over the right hand side of this. Ah, I've pulled that slightly left. Maybe just a touch too much draw there as well. Certainly not what I tried to pull off. But I seem to be getting punished more for slight pulls and pushes. So it's going to have to be two iron. See if we can sting. We're certainly not going to reach the green. But let's see if we can sting this over the top of the bunker. And hope for a favourable kick onto the green. Great strike by the way. This could bounce over the bunker. It's got a chance of doing it. Oh, I tell you what, what a recovery shot that is. And if you haven't already done so, guys, please spam the like button for for the channel. It really helps out. And if you're not enjoying the content, guys, please hit the dislike button and tell me why you're not enjoying it. But we've got another eagle opportunity here from 21 feet. It's another aggressive break to the right. Don't want to play this too firm. Tell you what, this is an R1 that's got a chance... Oh, it didn't turn. Didn't turn that last few feet. I really expected that to turn more than that. But we do pick up birdie number four. And that puts us to six under with the eagle we achieved on the second hole. But hole number 11 is called gate. This is a par three. And this is another bull-shaped green. This should gather the ball ever so slightly. You can see it. He's absolutely nailed this one. Oh, it's an, oh, we're so in between clubs today with this round, with this wind and the yardage. I'm really just going to have to try and deal off this and just hope that we can try and find that slope at the back of the green 
and hopefully it feeds us back down towards the pin. Fairly good strike considering the amount of deal off we put on that. Has it got enough yardage? Should just about catch the top of that slope. Maybe come down a little bit. It's going to be a little downhill putt. We've got a 15 foot putt. Breaking both ways. I'm just going right at the cup here. It's just slight. Touch right. Oh, hold your line. Oh, that's a great putt. Absolute delighted to pick up birdie there. And we are going to move to seven under par. Hole number 12 is called table. And this is a par four plane, 445 yards. I would say this is up there with one of the most difficult holes on the course. As you can see there guys it's going to be a very tight drive this is usually plays usually downwind just like this why wow, I, I can't believe how our winds at default so it's just luck that we've got these conditions are we going to find fairway because this is such a tough fairway to find this holds not as accurate as the the, the actual hole in the game. But let's remember, guys, these designers have got limited tools, and this has been designed on the PS4, but it's a very, very hard fairway to find, especially in these wind conditions. So lofting up this gap wedge. I expect this to be slightly long, but it should sit down and bite. Oh, that's, a, that's took off. That is took off. I should have maybe dropped the club there and de-lofted it. I really didn't expect the wind to push that as far as what it did. <laughs> Nine yards long. Let's see if we can get an up and down here. It's another tough chip shot. So fully lofting this up. I'm just going to try and attack this flag stick. Tell you what, it's a good attempt. Get in. Oh, just trickles past. The right side of the cup. But it is going to be a simple tap in par. <coughs> that keeps us at 7 under par. So let's move on to, in my opinion, the toughest hole on the course. And this is called Crown. There's trouble both sides of the fairway here. With the bushes and trees. This hole always plays long because the wind is normally across you. And the green sits up in an elevated position. But this really is a tough, tough hole. The green is really, really fast and swinging. But once again, we've got this crosswind. This this is remarkable that we've got this in default settings and the wind is playing as accurate as this. So just try to counteract the wind with some fade here. Going to have to put on a great execute. We'll tell you what, we've done it. This should be bang on. Should just come up short of this bunker on the right-hand side. What a fantastic tee shot that is. If only I could hit the ball like that in real life, I would be one happy man. So 130. Let's say it's played 138 yards. Just going to deal off this pitching wedge a touch. That wind is going to bring it hard left. So just going to set that out. Right at the flag. Counteract that. A touch of fade. This is tracking well. Is this going to sit? Please sit. It does sit. Not as quickly as we would have liked, but that is going to leave us about an 8 foot putt for birdie opportunity here. Okay, here 7 feet. Straightforward putt here. Which does drop and we do move to 8 under par. Absolutely delighted with that birdie. So, hole number 14 is Cop G's, and this is actually the highest point of the course. This hole has spectacular views and extremely difficult. You should see great views over the Murray Firth to the Black Isle. But depending 
on the wind. This tee shot can be anything from a long iron to a driver. Once again, the crosswind's very accurate. I'm going to have to play... Ooh, let's fully loft up this 5 hybrid. I think 5 iron just comes up short of that slope green. This one's maybe going to be a bit long of the, of the pin. But we're fully lofting this up. The wind should hold us up. Like I say, it's playing 208 yards, but we fully lofted this up. Good strike. This could be decent. How on earth is the wind not holding that up? I'm a bit confused there, guys, with the yardage. There's no way that fully lofted up 5 hybrid should have carried that distance. Got no idea if the wind changed on us. But I'd rather have been long. Look at that awkward putt we would have been if we took the 5 iron on. So just going to fully loft this up because this ball does filter down the slope. I would have liked that a little bit closer. Okay, let's see what you can do with but it's going to be an easier putt from here. Like I say, another 8 feet and that ball would have found that slope and goodbye ball. Should turn. Does turn. Good putt. Delighted that up and down. And we do secure par there. And we are going to remain 8 under. Hole number 15. This is a short par 4. And this is called Suitors. So after the three previous holes, guys, which is the toughest section on the course, you've got a bit of a respite here. It's a tight drive. Very tight drive. I've got no idea what that equator is here. What's... What is that? Ah, oh, guys, that's not good. That, I can assure you that's certainly not on the course. But you should have a long carry over header here. Obviously, that's not in the game. But let's see if we can find left-hand side. We've got the intended fast. Going to be long here, but this should kick right. Disappointed with the, the landscaping in that fairway. It certainly doesn't look like that. That looks a bit... If a mistake from Jay Johnson. Very nice. It's the only mistake that I can really class. Well, it's the only thing I can class as a mistake from what I've seen so far. But let's see if we can flop this close for birdie. Should check up. Does check up. And that should ensure us a tap in. And we should be going to nine under par. So great birdie there. Very, very happy with how we played that. As we are going to move on to hole number 16. This hole is called Road. This is an excellent par 4. You would have a long carry normally over header to reach a fairway. Bush is down the right. More header to the left. But this is a fairly generous fairway compared to most of the holes on the course. Look at that. Very, very accurate. You've got the ditch. And the bunkers really protecting the 16th green. Should carry out well here. Should leave us a wedge into the slightly elevated green. What carry we're getting on these fairways in true traditional links fashion with that wind behind us. <sighs> Ooh, I don't want to pitch that. I don't have enough room. So let's see if we can apply a full lob wedge. Once again, guys, I'm, I'm in between clubs. This may be slightly long, but not by much. Fully lofted lob wedge. If I don't nail my execution here, I'm going to be punished. Ah, I've pushed it left. Uh, pulled it left, should I say. And with that, we are slightly long. It's going to be a tough putt for birdie here. 18 foot putt, slightly downhill. It is going to turn ever so slightly right as it gains speed here. I tell you what, oh, is, have we? Have we? We have. What a putt that is. Great read, great putt. Very fortunate to walk away with birdie there. And we do move to 10 under par with two holes to play. So, hole number 17 is called Burn. This is another short par 4 that usually plays downwind. The main feature from the tee is a large bunker and it's right on driving distance here and in perfect line. T 
tell you what. Is this going to be drivable with the one behind us? I'm going to have a go at this. I think with a fast here we could hop, skip and jump over this. I'm probably going to put it right in the, the ditch. But let's take it on. Try and execute a fast. Oh, I failed the fast. <laughs> Look at the swing line. That's, unless we bounce this over. I tell you what. Please bounce. Oh, why wow. caught the retaining wall and kicked back into the drink. Okay. Oh, God, I had to take it on, guys. For the entertainment value, if anything. Just see if we can pitch this close. Wind should straighten us out here. Ball may move slightly. Oh, that's went hard left. Yardage would have been bang on. That is not going to be an easy putt for the par save. Could well be dropping our first shot of the round here. Gutted about that. 14 footer, it's going to break slightly right, shouldn't turn too much, it's going left side of the cup here, played it firm, it's not turned, it's not turned at all, certainly expected that to turn, had enough break in it to turn, didn't do it, could have been my putt line, but let's finish the Nern Golf Club with hole number 18. It should be a par 5 and this one is called home. Long par 5 but usually downwind. There is trouble all the way down the right hand side here in the shape of bushes and out of bounds. But would really like to finish with a birdie here. The green is very very flat. Large flat green should make for a comfortable putt. And there is the clubhouse. But this really is an accurate course, guys. Bar a few mistakes with the landscape of the fairway, I can't really fault it. We do nail that intended fast. That should carry for days down this fairway. But this is a fantastic course. If you are an RCR lover, get out and play this course, guys. Like I say, one of the best courses in Scotland, in my opinion. I am so fortunate to live in an area where we've got so many fantastic courses. But let's play this 5-iron. Bit in between clubs, because this bunker is in play if I go too far left. Because I'm just looking to bounce this on. The green should turn right. But we are going to have a putt for Eagle. Would love to finish with Eagle. But this is a fantastic course. So glad I just stumbled across this. This was just luck that I came across this course. So we've got a 32 feet putt. It is one foot up. Breaking multiple ways here. I'm just going to favour the right side. Should start to turn but Get in. Get in. Oh, so unlucky there. But it should set us up for a makeable birdie. Probably about four feet. It is four feet. And this would give us a 62. Could have been two or three shots better, to be honest. But there we go. The Nern Golf Club, guys. A 62, 10 under. For me, absolutely great course. It's going to be a four star due to some of the landscaping issues. But great effort from Jay Johnson there. That is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.